next uh, presentations we are going to be talking about. And now may I kindly request uh, Faro, uh, Ferenc Savoy, uh, Savoy talking about uh, uh, the, uh, to, to deliver his presentation by creating the independent Hungarian industry. The floor is yours. I plan to provide a framework in 1923, and also Sándor Farkasvári, the writer, said, Oh, our poor industry it is in a horrible situation. And uh, in 1923, he writes that uh, the industry is healing. Uh, uh, and what I found in this writing was um, the signs of recovery. And that's almost the title of our conference. So right now I mentioned a few key notions on the basis of which I would like to my uh, presentation. Uh, 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 in order to be able to present a possible development, uh, you have to create a time span as well. In 1923, this author uh, wrote uh, uh, about the Hungarian economy after the Trianon Treaty. He said that uh, the signs of healing are already there and perhaps there will be some positive uh, uh, outcome. I would also like to close my presentation uh, also with his words. Uh, he makes lots of comp uh, um, comparisons and I would also like to speak finally about the 30s uh, when there is a recovery. Uh, uh, I think almost everyone uh, started before me uh, the, his, or his presentation by enumerating uh, the circumstances, uh, the factors affecting uh, the given area. Uh, um, uh, industrial development uh, was not so typical of Hungary. Uh, uh, it uh, was uh, more realistic to think of an industrial uh, development, for example, in, che uh, in the Czech Moravian region, industrial region. There was uh, a debate on what to develop uh, uh, within the framework of the industry. I read a very interesting book written by Béla Rajnik. Uh, 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 this uh, uh, book was written in 1909. It's a long uh, book, uh, several hundred of uh, pages, and it writes about, it is about the possible impacts of uh, the separation, of the economic separation from Austria. He submitted his uh, writing to a tender and he won first prize. Uh, Hungary uh, becoming an independent actor uh, of the new world uh, 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 so this is the issue that he presents in his book. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot see how it would have happened in reality because the First World War just uh, happened, so we cannot see the whole process going on. The real problem uh, was that in Hungary, uh, industry was mainly processing industry, and Hungary lost uh, uh, the raw its raw materials. So an extremely large food industrial sector, uh, right now I'm not going to talk about it uh, in detail. So what were the results uh, here? We can see uh, the percentage rates uh, uh, which were the uh, starting point of the recovery. You can see these are very um, high figures. 
But all in all, uh, 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 it is evident from these numbers uh, that uh, the economy had to be rebuilt and recovered in a creative manner. Uh, it had to be completely reorganized. Uh, and here I would like to highlight the role of the Association of Hungarian Industrialists. Uh, 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 they uh, were the ones who wanted to control the industry and the customs union, uh, and they were interested, the most interested in uh, introducing uh, uh, regular inspections. The Hungarian economy became an excessively open uh, economy, and uh, 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 our uh, foreign trade was uh, in the red. And there, were, there was a huge global competitiveness. And the next question is uh, uh, that uh, an important uh, replacing industrialization uh, had to be implemented, which means that the country had to produce everything instead of importing. And the major partners were Czechoslovakia and Austria. From 1930s, we know that the German export and import would become very significant, but at the time, Austria and Czechoslovakia are the major partners. So Hungary has to find new uh, markets. We know that the Italian market was uh, uh, okay for a limited period of time, but later it became too small. Uh, import replacing uh, industrialization means that certain duties are imposed. These are very high duties, 40, 30, 40% 40 is the average rate, and the product range is also enormous. 40,000 goods articles were levied. Textile industry, leather industry, paper industry, uh, this were the industry they wanted to protect with these protective duties. Uh, so what is the result? The whole industry is restructured. Instead of processing industry, textile industry uh, becomes the dominant sector between the two world wars and the machinery industry. Uh, optical industry, radio industry, so these are new sectors emerging. So we can say that uh, small industry still has an important role and thus it is also diffic difficult to answer the question whether in 1929 the Hungarian machinery industry produced more or less than in, uh, the era, uh, in the era of the Austria-Hungarian monarchy. It is difficult to answer because we have a small industry, a medium industry uh, uh, as well, but when we see the global uh, picture, uh, the answer is yes, but when we look only at the manufacturing uh, sector, uh, then the answer is no. So there is a shift uh, in the industrial structure and uh, uh, here we can see the export uh, uh, figures. I tried to focus on light industry uh, and mainly on textile industry. Uh, new plants uh, are established and uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, industrial statistics uh, is introduced, which means that the production is inspected. Uh, uh, I would like to speak about uh, the gamma optical works, uh, and also there are well-known plants operating in the leather industry. Uh, pharmaceutical industry, Kinoin and Richter Gedeon, uh, uh, these are still operating firms, and their development is very uh, uh, spec uh, spectacular in this era. Uh, food industry, I do not want to get into full details. Uh, 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 in the Trianon, post Trianon Hungary, food industry had uh, at least uh, 15 branches. Uh, Mr. Guyash wrote in his uh, book that in certain branches there is a new capacity, while in other industries branches there is a lack uh, of uh, resources. You can see 
the percentage rate, the, uh, the composition of the uh, industry. Uh, Manfred Weiss, uh, and that's uh, uh, heavy industry. Originally, they produced canned food, but later they produced cartridges for the military uh, during the First World War. Um, uh, I read a very interesting uh, 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 study on the history of the can plant, canning plant uh, uh, in Ketch Kemet. Uh, there uh, we could also read, I could also read about the history of the Weiss uh, uh, works. And uh, of course military uh, pro uh, uh, production, bauxite uh, production and electricity generation that was also an emerging uh, uh, branch. Here you can see automobiles produced by Weiss, uh, the Weiss Works, uh, but uh, I uh, also saw uh, photos uh, about an agreement uh, signed by the Hungarian government and the Weiss Works. Uh, uh, um, uh, these are for planes uh, uh, and uh, 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 later, they also contacted uh, the German, uh, the German uh, uh, military office. Uh, uh, they uh, offered uh, uh, the uh, production of planes, military, also military planes for Germany. Uh, of uh, they, um, the German military uh, office uh, uh, ordered eight-wheeled vehicles as well. Here we can see uh, a trainer by plane in Chapel, uh, also produced by Weiss Works, uh, and uh, later in uh, the 1940s, uh, the Weiss Works uh, purchases Daimler Benz. Uh, uh, prototype uh, and the majority of the products of course are confiscated or taken by the German Germans so they are not used in, in Hungary. If I want to finalize my finish my presentation I would say that uh, 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 industrial development became the engine of uh, economic growth and stabilization uh, uh, we can see that production surpassed, uh, uh, was more than before the war. When we look at the original documents, uh, uh, we can see that it is not true that the Hungarian industry uh, between the two world wars uh, is uh, uh, performing below the uh, production of the dualist era, it is not true. If you look at this table, we can see that the index is uh, 1921, meaning 100 percent. And here you can see the numbers, and uh, here you could also see the global recession. According to the Strand Statistical, Statistical Office, industrial accounted for 41 percent of the national income in 1928 and 43.7% uh, in 1936. Uh, so uh, I have the feeling uh, that the industry perhaps surpassed uh, the role of the agriculture. I, mean, I have already mentioned Chandor Farkas um, The question is whether our manufacturing is stronger than before the war, than it was before the war. In taking the total volume, uh, volume uh, you can see that manufacturing, which is only a branch of the industry, is 10% uh, 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 less productive than before the war. In 19, uh, from 1931, different uh, uh, legislation on the development of industry are introduced, which means that the industry, it is an objective of the government to develop the industry. Different uh, bodies are set up. A uh, free ministry, uh, industrial development is under the auspices of three ministries. Uh,
the conclusion is uh, that uh, it was a correct economic policy, a creative economic poli policy that recognized the challenges adapted to the international changes and found appropriate responses uh, and adapted to the realities. The economic and political elites uh, could cooperate in this era, which was an era of recovery. Uh, uh, and now a little bit uh, a, a sort of outlook. Uh, our armament boom is to come uh, after the global uh, recession. Uh, there is always a boom uh, in economy. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Professor Szabai spoke about healing, recovery in the field of the industry, uh, and he recited the work of Béla Reinick about the separation of, from Austria. And let me uh, enumerate uh, uh, the memory of all those towns that we tend to forget. Uh, these towns uh, remained in Hungary, but still they got marginalized, uh, lost their markets uh, and their economy. When we look at uh, the contemporary journals, uh, Chopron and Kösek, for instance, about Kösek and Chopron, we uh, can read articles about uh, dramatic uh, uh, if, uh, dramat uh, dramatic situation, streets without people, markets without uh, customers, etc.